Hey guys, it's Amber and I am getting ready to work on a story kit crush layout using the begin and the design story kits. Long time no see. I've been struggling a little bit with the mojo and I decided to just tell a story um, using some product. I was trying to pick something where I wasn't trying to like keep product and be precious with it um, just to get it on the table because I've been struggling a little bit with um, loving the new kits lately and not wanting to use them I guess struggling for the stories to come out but here we are so this is a story using the um, begin kit like I had said so I'm using these pieces from the begin kit probably a piece of chipboard from there and this is from the design story kit that I recolored it came out pretty, like it's definitely darker than this one um I think I pulled the color from the arrows here it's pretty close it's always going to be more um hard to match when it's like photo paper versus you know cardstock and things but overall it's pretty good um so my plan is I'm going to use this piece of from the kit here and I have them digitally because I'm you know a subscriber and get the stamps and everything and I did consider just printing it out with the journaling on it but I'm trying to use my physical products and like get them used up so they don't have them sitting around for forever so I decided to go ahead and print my journaling on this awesome Mako vellum sticker paper that you guys have seen me use quite a bit in the past, especially with my 2021 December daily. But what was nice about having the digital is that I was able to mock it up where I wanted the journaling to go. It printed out really nicely. So I'm going to trim this. Um, I need to kind of take a measurement of where I'm going to cut it here. And then once it's on, then I'll trim the edge, I think. Um, so the journaling's there, and then what I'm going to do is trim out my photo. So this is three and three quarters. This is three and a quarter, I believe, to make seven. I'm going to leave a little bit of room on the photo paper for me to glue these two together like this, and then I'm going to punch holes in the actual photo. I didn't want to try to punch holes in here. Um, which I did consider doing something more like this and because then it gave me like almost no room for journaling. I didn't want to smush it too much. So decided to put it on this side. That also gave me the opportunity to kind of play with some visual triangles, you know, because I've got the greenish yellow color here, here, and then here. And then the blue will be kind of strewn throughout. Um, so the basic story is us starting after a year living in our new house, starting to fix some things. Um, I think we were so overwhelmed by the move and getting everything done that we just wanted to live in it for a while. And now we made some electrical light changes. We removed like a ceiling fan. Those were like the first couple things that we did. Um, so I thought that would be a good place just to start, especially because I had taken this picture of my partner up on the ladder. So I'm using this one with the arrows here. It's kind of a masculine looking card. It says starting right here with the arrows. So I thought that would look nice pointing into him. And then this is from the design story kit. I recolored it to match, of course. I want to take the word here. I really like the fact that they're card stocks now. Um, so I'm going to put that over here. I'm considering trying to pop it up potentially. I think that would look good. Um, and then while I was digging through my chipboard stash, looking for something maybe that could fit underneath along here, I found a few that I considered, but ultimately not necessarily going to use. I was looking at this one little word. I liked the progress heart or the move forward heart or even the take action heart, but didn't really necessarily have a place to put hearts. And then I grabbed this one here, which these are some, um, parts that I struggled with and I thought like the done and done or the get it done chipboard or the let's do this um even like the on my list but it's just the wrong color so I'm gonna ignore that one but it was one that I considered and then I found my watch 
chipboard. And I have this Oh Man I Love Watching You Dear thing that I thought would be really cute. Um, and <laughs> it's like funny because there's like some trash here and cardboard that was like waiting to go outside. So I thought maybe I could potentially use that or one of these circular ones here to help like kind of just cover that up. Um, or like one of these here. Just to, you know, one, involve the photo a bit. But I also left room on the journaling to put an embellishment of some kind. So it could either be this guy or maybe this dark gray. So ready, I'm not sure yet until I actually get it like down. I even actually kind of considered layering them for just like a cool look. If I was gonna do that, what I honestly would potentially do was like print this in digitally or I would have tried to print it digitally and then layer this um which I should have done but didn't think of till just now so there's really not a ton of work to do I do need to get this trimmed out get this trimmed and then start like attaching things together so let's get started Okay, so as you can see, I'm just using my 6x8 trimmer there to trim off three sides. I had printed that photo onto a 5 by 85 inch piece of scrap paper that I had left. Um, so it worked out perfectly for having an 8 and a quarter tall by, I think it was 3 and a quarter inch wide photo. So I left that big piece off to the right hand side there. And then I decided to go ahead and get the holes punched. That is a recollections punch from Michael's. Um, that I get asked about pretty frequently. I'm not even sure they actually still make it anymore. So now I am just doing some basic measurements to try to see where I can trim the journaling. I decided to put it right along the start here. Um, and then on the right hand side, I didn't want to completely trim it down, but I wanted to get it a little bit closer. So I chopped off about another half an inch just so I didn't have so much overhang. So I just used, um, where the cut on the backing was to just kind of put part of it down, make sure it was aligned, and then use that little Cricut tool there to help smooth it down. And then when I'm cutting this extra sticker paper off, I like to use my nonstick scissors from Fiskars. I have that saved in my link in my bio if you're interested. I really highly recommend using them for adhesive. It really saves you a lot of effort for your scissors. And they don't get so gummed up. So now I'm ready to remove that release paper and get this stuck down. And the paper from the kit is just slightly taller on both sides. So I centered it as best I could because the journaling is pretty close to the edges. And then I just use my trimmer to trim it down just so it really matches as best I can. Just doing it a little sliver by sliver. And just kind of now that things are getting glued together, taking a look at where I like the embellishments and making sure that I like where they are. I should have ended up leaving that square piece up on the upper left hand side. It looked just fine there. I don't know why I kept thinking that um, part of it is because I like because it's talking to him in a way through the words is that I wanted it on the photo of Jarrett, but um, not, you know. <laughs> it's like I needed another green one or something. So just getting out my foam adhesive on a roll from Gina K. I'm just picking that one because it's a little easier to customize the size pieces that I needed to fit inside the letters there and get that popped up just for a little bit of dimension. I'm going to end up leaving that photo alone. I'm not going to end up adding anything else to it. I took my one canoe two stamp and added a date stamp using my Versamark ink and um, just like I said playing with the embellishments here and trying to just make a decision and what you're seeing here is what I'm going to end up using so the square one is one of the older pieces of Allie's chipboard that still has adhesive the circle ones are the newer style that don't have chipboard or, sorry that don't have adhesive and are a little bit thinner so I just added a little double-sided sticky tape Okay guys, just about finished with this one. I used my date stamp here in the corner, found a little spot here next to the arrows. Um, I wanted to do like gray, green, gray, but this was too busy looking over here because it's the same journaling style, the same text style I should say. Uh, so it didn't really provide a good break. 
Um, and I did like these, but this green one did not look good over here. So um, I feel like I really liked the way that was layered on top there. So I feel like I almost need another one on on there but I would have to dig through my journal my stash and find it and it says like commence begin set in motion so I don't want to cover it but it really kind of looked neat so it's something I'm considering but anywho um really happy just to get this done and get something on paper and break my little scrapbooking streak and hopefully this will help me get the rest of them out of my head and into my scrapbooks. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your patience while I was working through my lack of mojo and I can't wait to share the next one with you. Bye for now.